Engineer 775. Had an idea um, the other day, been wanting to try to figure out if I could make electricity from a ram pump. I know there's been some attempts to kind of convert that motion into a uh, running a flywheel, and um, and that's pretty cool. There's a video out on YouTube. It's really cool. I don't know. It's done in a, a Spanish-speaking gentleman, but it's awesome. I want to do something a little different. I want to see if I can take this ram pump and uh, let me show you what I did. I actually have a couple things I did. I wanted to, the overall objective of this is to run a Pelton wheel. And I have nozzled basically a hundred foot of head down to a pressure washer nozzle, one of the smallest jets I can find. And that's constant. I've been able to, I've been running this for hours. Um, and I think I can run it 24-7, 365 days a year. That jet of water, that's a jet of water, folks. And I'm cutting a hole in the bank over here in the dirt. Let's see, I'll show you. Well, you can't really see it, but I've been cutting a hole. I'm drilling through the earth with a water jet. Anyway, <laughs> um, so that jet, and you can see my pressure. Let's see what we got for pressure. Oh, this is, uh, sorry. Right at 40, right at 40, 41, 40 and a half PSI. Okay, now I am also diverting this up the hill to run so I can make sure I fill my cattle trough. That's what this valve right there is doing. I just have it cracked. So I'm pumping water 102 feet up the hill. I also installed an inline 30 micron filter so that this will guarantee that I do not clog this nozzle ever. That's my goal. I don't ever clog the nozzle. I am pumping uh, groundwater, pond water, and I'm just checking, making sure. If something does clog, I put a manual pressure relief valve here, a watt man adjustable from 50 to 150 PSI. So I've already tested it. That will pop off, blow off if something gets stuck so I don't blow up or break my ram. So. Put, oops, put a little bladder tank here just to kind of keep things working. So my idea was to take the amount of head I'm producing from the ram, the amount of pressure, and keep it very close and short, like I'm only within 10 feet, I am producing this ram jet. So pretty cool. That's just a jet of water that I've been able to sustain at about... Uh, 40, 40 to 1, 41 PSI. And that, that's with that valve open. I've run it right at 48 PSI, sustainable. So I think I can get this baby at 50 PSI, sustainable running year round with a hydraulic ram pump. So what do I want to do with this? I want to run a Pelton wheel. So I'm going to mount a Pelton wheel and a, and a, um, and a permanent magnet motor alternator something to take advantage of this energy. Now this might not make much energy at all, but I just can't help it. I'm doing this, it's, uh, it just runs without electricity anyway. So how much energy do you think I can make? I'll be curious as to your comments and calculations if you want to. Um, but um, again, I'll tell you 50 PSI running, hard to say, I can't really measure it that well. Probably a gallon a minute. No, about 1.2 gallons a minute. And we're still digging a hole. We're still digging a hole here in the side of the hill. So maybe this is a water weapon, a water jet running off of uh, gravity. I'm only dropping 12 foot into my ram pump. So that's the energy that I am trying to use. Now, I, I want to know what you think I'm going to make. And anyway, I'm going to put a Pelton wheel on this and a flywheel just for the fun of it. So what can lifting that weight 24-7, say 170, 180, no, probably, probably more like 80 beats a minute. How much power can that make? Okay, that's enough from Waterland here with Engineer 775. Wanting to run a Pelton wheel off a hydraulic ram pump. And I just set up my nozzle setup to see before I got too far. I just want to see what I could sustain. 
and I can run this forever. I know it's not a lot, but it's 24 seven. Okay, look forward to your comments. This is Engineer775, signing off from the creek.